What's up guys, it's the High Tech Redneck again. I want to do a quick video on how to care for your knife in the long term. Um, now, most of you guys know how to sharpen a knife. You, I mean, you know how to basically oil a knife. But uh, these are some tricks that I use on my knives that I find really handy. So, number one, we got this lubrication pin. This came from the Dollar Tree of all places. And uh, it's actually really, really good. I'm going to buy a bunch of these because they are awesomely handy. They're not messy at all. And you just take a folding knife and you squeeze this down into the pivot and squish it a couple of times. Let some lubrication drip down into here. And once you get a good little couple of drops of lubrication in there, you actuate your knife 50 or so times. Work on it a good little bit. And uh, eventually you'll start to see some black gunk start to pour out from around the edges here. Now you wipe that off and you re-lubricate it about five or six times to flush out some of that junk in there. And once it flushes it out, your knife will be much more smooth. And as you can see with this access lock, I can just push this thing and touch it and it just folds right into the handle and folds right back out. It's almost free hanging. That's amazing. And I, it's been weeks since I've lubricated this, about two weeks. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really impressive. So that helps a lot. Um, number two, never dull. This is a great investment. I would suggest you make it today. Uh, can of this is about five bucks and it will last you years. I've had this two or three years. You can see my cans all beat up and halfway rusted and stuff. And I've still got a ton of it left. Now, you just pinch a little chunk of this off about this size and you can see it's kind of greasy and you're supposed to wear gloves when you wear it and stuff like that but whatever I'm a real man so for high carbon steel blades or any blade that has rust on it I will take a blade and I will push it down into my leg so that uh, my, the, the flesh on your leg will let this sink in just a little bit and it won't cut you especially if you're wearing jeans and uh, that will make it so you can scrub along this blade and it will not cut you from the top either and make sure you respect your blade when you are working on it like this because if you do not respect that blade it will hurt you very badly as evidenced right here I cut myself to the bone while polishing a knife just a few weeks ago and uh, it was pretty nasty I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than it ended up being actually it was it was a really bad cut so you have to be very careful when you're doing this but you scrub the knife with this all over and you scrub you know concentrate on, on the bad spots get the get the rust off but also on a stainless knife like this you can polish it with this stuff it's good for getting off chunks of like tree sap and stuff like that as well and uh, it's just really really handy stuff it's great for guitars and guns cars knives tools anything you can name this is great handy stuff I use it all over the place as a matter of fact I carry some in a small um, waterproof container, uh, an airtight waterproof container, whenever I go out camping because I love it that much. It's great lubrication on top of being a great polish. And last but not least, we have paraffin wax. So paraffin wax, this is gulf wax. You buy this in your grocery store in the canning aisle, you know, next to all the, the cans and stuff. And it's about $4 for a pound of it. And this is two ounces of it. It's a half of one of the slabs. So that's a small bit of what you will get and as you'll see it takes very little of this um, to use for knives and tools so if you have a high carbon steel blade once you get it cleaned up you'll notice you go on a trip you get busy with life you come home and then all of a sudden you pull one of your knives out to check it out and it's rusty and you're like man you know I just oiled this a month ago oh well, okay you know oil wears off so this does not wear off at least not easily um, the trick with this you just take it and scrub your knife down like you're using a crayon and you want to scrub your knife and make sure there are no little open spots of metal. So you don't want to leave spots like this. Well, let me get it better in frame here. You don't want to leave spots like this all around the knife. You want it covered completely to make sure it's not going to rust in those little open spots either. So do like this and then make yourself a sharp 90 degree edge and get way down here in these corners and scrub. And you'll, you'll notice as and uh, it's, it's good on edges. If you have a coated blade that's carbon steel, you can come over here on your edge and do this but you'll see you drop little chunks of wax everywhere so make sure you do this on your porch or you know put a shirt down on a table and then you know whatever but but be careful it's kind of messy but it's it's the best thing I know of to protect a blade for a long time or also a hand tool or whatever else to protect it for a long time and not let it rust you can pull it in and out of the sheath you can handle it show it to people use it a little bit and it's gonna stay protected and, and it's until you need to rewax it again and I find that very, very handy, and I hope you guys do too. So, yeah, a little lubrication on the joints, and a little bit, oh, one more thing, on this Never Dull, 
The other thing this is good for, this is what I use to polish the brass on here, which I haven't done in a few weeks. It's not very bad right now, but you just take it like this and scrub over this brass a little bit, and next thing you know, boom, it's lighter, it's shinier, and I mean, you can compare it to the back, you can see it's a little bit better, although this wasn't, you know, corroded or whatever you want to call it, oxidized at all. But yeah, this works great on the brass for polishing, works great for polishing silverware, and anything you need to polish, rims, whatever. Your big fancy necklace, go ahead, polish it up. So, there are some tips for you guys, I hope you enjoy them, they're really handy for me, and I hope they're handy for you. Have a good one.